Welcome. Our topic for today is about anti-lock braking system. In this discussion we covered. What is anti-lock braking system? Components of ABS. ABS brake types. Working of anti-lock braking system. What is anti-lock braking system? Anti-lock braking system is a closed loop control device that prevents wheel lockup during braking and as a result vehicle stability and steering is maintained. This system uses the principle of cadence braking and threshold braking. The purpose of anti-lock braking system is to control the rate at which individual wheels accelerate and accelerate through the regulation of the line pressure applied to each foundation brake. The control signals, generated by the controller and applied to the brake pressure modulating unit, are derived from the analysis of the outputs taken from wheel speed sensors. Thus, when active, the anti-lock braking system makes optimum use of the available friction between the tires and the road surface. Components of ABS Speed Sensor the purpose of the speed sensor is to monitor speed of each wheel and then to determine the acceleration and the acceleration of the wheels. It consists of exciter a ring with notched teeth and a wire coil, magnet assembly which generates the pulses of electricity as teeth of exciter pass in front of it. Valves The function of the valves is to regulate the air pressure to brakes during anti-lock braking system action. They are placed in the brake line of the each brake controlled by the ABS. In most of the cases, the valve has three positions. In position 1, the valve is open and the pressure from the master cylinder is passed through the brake. In position 2, the valve blocks the line resulting in isolating the brake from master cylinder. In position 3, the valve releases some of the pressure from brakes. Pump the purpose of the pump is to regulate or restore the pressure back to the brakes that has been released by the valves. Controller The controller of the anti-lock braking system consists of electronic control unit which processes all the ABS information and signal functions. The ECU gets the information from all the wheels and then control or limit the brake force to the each wheel. ABS Brake Types Anti-lock braking system or ABS has different types of brakes based on number of channels used. One channel. This system is found on pickup trucks which uses rear wheel ABS. It has one valve and one sensor for both of the rear wheels. This system is not very effective because as there is a possibility that one of the rear wheel will lock, reducing the effectiveness of brakes. Two channel. This system works with four sensors and two valves. It uses a speed sensors at each wheel, with one control valve for both of the front wheels and the other one for the rear wheels. 3-channel 3 3-channel 3 comes with two combination, one is 3-channel with four sensors and the other one with 3-channel and three sensors. In 3-channel and four sensor scheme, Along with the four sensors on the each wheel there is a separate valve for each of the front wheels and a common valve for the rear wheels. The three channel and three sensor scheme is mostly employed in pickup trucks. There are individual sensors and valve for both the front wheels with a common valve and sensor for both of the rear wheel. Four channel. This scheme is employed in most of the modern cars like Ferrari's California T. In this scheme all the four wheels have their own individual speed sensors and valves. This gives best result as all the four wheels can be controlled individually which ensures the maximum braking force. Working of anti-lock braking system. When the brakes are applied, fluid is forced from the master cylinder to the HCU inlet ports with the help of open solenoid valves that are contained in the HCU, then through the outlet ports of HCU to the each wheel. The rear part of the master cylinder feeds the front brakes and vice versa. After the fluid is inserted in each wheel, the wheel starts locking up. When the control module senses that wheel is going to lock up, it closes the normally open solenoid valve for that wheel. The anti-lock brake control module then looks at anti-lock brake sensor signal from the affected wheel. Once the affected wheel comes back up to the speed, then the control module returns the solenoid valve to their normal condition.